All right, it is Friday, the 13th of February. And tomorrow, of course, is Valentine's Day. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. And, of course, the sign for the back of my truck is a birthday present from my dad and mom. So that's cool. And guess what? We even have this. Watch us on YouTube. JeffDaves.com I think it's... I think it's 28 degrees. And it's about 15 knots close to 15 knots from the due north. I got two guys from Texas that I sure hope they've got their, you know, shit together uh, this morning. Because until the sun comes up, you can see me. You don't see me often in double hoods. Double hoods. Those uh, short-haired guys we got to protect our heads. <laughs> so, uh, that's it so far. We'll see what the fishing is. Jigs and shrimp. Float rigs and shrimp. We'll see what produces. I'm the only one down here at the whole boat ramp. Not a soul around. Watch us on YouTube, CapDaves.com. Come on! All right. First spot, no sheep's head. But... One barely legal speck, and all the rest are yellow mouths. Well, now we're on to another spot. All right, Hunter here, he's gonna get himself a sheep set. <laughs> okay, here we go. Double 12 inches! <laughs> Can't seem to find any big ones. <sighs> they sure are pretty when they're young. <laughs> All right, well, I think we know what the story is. <laughs> Oh my God, look what he did here. Look at, look at all that. Oh my, that's almost a start over again. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what that is? That ain't nothing but a God dang saltwater piranha. You don't know what a bluefish is? Yeah. They don't get them over there in Austin? <laughs> Damn bluefish, look at that. Oh my God, mastifying it. Well, that's a 30 minute. That's a 30 minute knot we got going there now. That's beyond help. That's a start over.
I think you're king of the county. Our biggest trout of the day, folks. Our biggest trout of the freezing day. It's a double hood day. A double hood day. They know I'm coming. Okay, your asses are gonna get run over. Almost back on dry land. Oh, start the truck. <laughs> Just let it warm up. <sighs> All right. Here's the end of day. There's our one big trout. And not much different than the first time. A bunch of yellow mouse and a couple specks. That's it. But the numbers of specs, the numbers of specs we caught, I don't know, bunches. And again, they were all 12 to 14 inches on a double hood day. It's been a while since it's been a double hood day. But let me tell you, morning was pure brutal. That's okay. We went out. We had a good time. We caught a bunch of fish. We didn't get any big fish, but we caught a bunch of fish. So, that was that. So now, my baggie, I got time to clean the donuts. All right. Well, let me tell you what a long day it was. Not because of the fishing, but uh, we were fishing one spot. And I mean, I know this. There's high tension wires there, and all the cormorants sit up in there. And I knew, I knew it going in, as the saying says. Um, but the whole side of the boat got sprayed on from... 50 feet up by the cormorant birds. If you don't know what a cormorant bird is, well, maybe you go by the names water turkey, because that's what I always call them, a water turkey. And, oh my God, was the boat a mess. So that gave me a chance after fishing all day, being at the boat room, being at the bait shop at six, being ready, my guys came down, Freezing cold, like I said, in the in the in the morning, and um, no sooner we get out there, we're fishing. We can't get those sheep's head. We never got a. We might have gotten some sheep's head bite. I ran all the way down the river just to fish a certain rock pile that I fished last Saturday and caught all this. Now, yeah, my last video, I was. I was doing some serious complaining, but still, this is what I went home with, and a 24-inch redfish. And in the background here is the fish cooker, getting all heated up. But what I had to do is I had to come home, and it gave me a chance. I washed the Jetty Wolf top to bottom. I mean, it got scrubbed like crazy. I ran the engine out with fresh water. Let me show you. 
This is my tub that I put up underneath the engine. It's got foam on it. I think some soap got in there. And I run like a salt away solution in here. I slide it up under there, put the engine in, and I ran the engine for 20 minutes with the nice fresh water and the salt away going through it. So that's part of the ritual I do if I know I'm not fishing in a few days. If I know I'm not fishing in a few days, I'll do that. But I mean, if I'm going, you know, day after day. But tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And I don't know, but I had, I had a call or something while I was out there for four people. I just want everybody to know that really during this time of year, January, February, when it's cold and it's windy and all that, to be honest with you, the only people I really take fishing are die-hard fishermen. The family groups of four, you know, mom and dad and grandpa and grandma, that should be for, you know, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, first half of November, down to Thanksgiving. But this time of year, when I'm wearing a hood and a sweatshirt and it's cold, I take out pretty much just diehards. And I had two good guys today. Guy uh, just moved here. He was in the Navy, just brought, came down here. And his dad came from Austin, Texas. So these guys were fishermen. But as his dad said, when he walked away at the end of the day, after I gave him a big old bag of fillets like this, of uh, the uh, yellowmouth trout and some specks. He said, if I knew it was going to be this cold, I would have dressed a little better. Well, anytime you're going fishing this time of year and you're, you know you're going fishing, you ought to be bringing full uh, foul weather gear. Full. Bibs, jacket, sweatshirts, hoods, long johns, heavy socks. Just in case, just in case, let me check the temperature on my, on my oil here. Okay, she is ready. She's ready for a little bit of fish fry material here. Well, Got to contend with my fish fry, but if you're a diehard and you want to go this time of year, give me a call. I'm a diehard. I don't care. I love it. I mean, the cold weather, just wear enough clothes. All righty. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on another trout tracking charter.